In this video, I will give you a quick overview how you can work out your first case. Now, I will go fairly quickly because all the things I show you can see in one of the more specific tutorial videos about each topic. So let's say I have a child with an ear infection and I want to look up the first rubric which I know where it is located in the repertory. So I know I want to go to the chapter ear, then to the rubric inflammation, media, chronic. Now in the left upper corner of each window there's a local find button. And you see I can also press on the keyboard the function key F2. But I can also just start to type on, on the keyboard. That I will show you for the next rubric. Let's first do for this rubric here a single click on the local find button and it shows you the chapters of this document of the repertory. Now I have to go to the section ear so here I click on wait a moment the tooltip is above it so on here ear I click on ear then I go to inflammation and you see already I can I need to start to type on the keyboard anyway so I do in inflammation and here at the top you see the characters you have already typed so inflammation now I can click on it a single click or on the keyboard press enter so I press enter and then I say media and then I press enter again and then I say chronic and then I do enter again then you see here I have ear inflammation media chronic now in case you made a mistake you just single click here on and you can go one level back so let me type again here chronic I do enter and if I press now enter again on the keyboard I will do this button here at the lower end go to so on the keyboard I press enter and I went now in the repertory to this rubric and normally in all my tutorial videos I will call also these rubrics in the repertory just symptoms okay we have found this symptom and now we want to take it for our repertorization for our analysis I can do that in several ways and let me first show you here in the left upper corner there's a local take button now there's a sub button if I click on that you see here all the options take with intensity 1 2 3 4 and you see here the keyboard shortcuts or you can take here with extra options with the F6 and there's also a main button so that's this part so if I click here on the main button I take that symptom immediately so let me click on it and you will see here in clipboard number one in symptom clipboard number one that there is now a small one below it indicating there is now one symptom taken into this clipboard okay let's find the next symptom so I want uh, fever continued fever during night now I will not click here on this local find button but on the keyboard I will just start to type the first characters of the chapter press enter then the first characters of the rubrics and I press enter again and so forth so on the keyboard I start to type F E from fever and you see I have female and fever so I need to do one more character so I, I do here uh, fever okay enter then I go to continue so I start to type C O N and I have to type a little bit more or on the keyboard press the L down once and my hand indicator is now in front of continued fever to select it I just press enter on the keyboard and you see here I have fever continued fever but I want night so I start to type and I there it is and I press one time enter and another time enter and I will go to that location so here I am this is the hand indicator pointing to the rubric and at the top as a reminder you see here the symptom path and the symptom path always indicates to the last level where the hand indicator is so fever continued fever night now in case you made a mistake and you came to the wrong section 
you can always click here in the symptom path and it will open the find window from that location. So let's say I want to go back to fever. I can click here on fever and it opens here again the find window and you see you can start to type here again the rubric and then the sub rubric. But let's uh, go to the same rubric again. So I type C O N T enter and then night and then press enter I press enter again here I am back again to this rubric fever continue fever at night now you already see here these tooltips popping up on remedies and they can also pop up on authors when I show authors you can turn these on and off via the local options button so this is the local options button and such a local options button is in every window. So also here at the left side, what we call a table of contents, also has a local options button. Okay, let's concentrate here on taking this symptom also. Now, you saw already you could do it here in the left upper corner with the take button, with the main button or the sub button. Or on the keyboard, there are several hotkeys. For example, the equal sign just takes it immediately or you can press, for example, plus, and with an extra underlining, let's say it's a symptom strength 2, I type on the keyboard the 2, I press enter again, and when I press enter, I select here the button which is my default button. So now that symptom is taken with an extra underlining. To show you, at the left here, I can single click here on the clipboard to open my analysis window, or I can do that here at the top on the main button, single click, and it opens also my analysis window. And you see here, fever, continued fever, it has 30 remedies. And this indicates the intensity, the underlining, and it has a 2. Now I can always change this afterwards. I can just single click on it to select that symptom in the clipboard. Now on the keyboard, I just press the intensity I want. So if I press on the keyboard now a 1, you see it changed back to a 1. If I select it again and I press here a 3, you see it has intensity 3. So for now, just let me keep it a 1. Okay, I go back here to the synthesis. At the top, I click on the top of the synthesis. And I have here my analysis window open also. When I click here on it, this is my analysis window. If I click here, this is my synthesis window. So let's say I want also a symptom that the face of the child is on one side quite warm. And it's quite hot and it is red. So let's go and find this one also. So on the keyboard, I start to type face, F-A-C, enter and for example let's say warm w a r warm and i see here no this is not what i want okay let's try here face so i click here on face i keep face it removes the last part and let's do hot no hot is not there i come to a sensation of a hole so let me do backspace. When I do backspace, I delete here this character. And if I do backspace again, I delete that second character. So let's say I don't know where it is. So I cannot find it. I have a problem. Is it under warm, under red, under hot? So let's just close this find window.